What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you what we've been doing to get ourselves ready on the farm for the first growing season. We've had volunteers in coming to help us, we've been moving compost, making market gardens, we've been growing all of these seedlings, we've been making windbreaks, we've been doing loads. So stay tuned and enjoy. Peace. We are loading up the truck with all of this compost. Um, we had 15 tonnes of it um, in total, but I'm slowly making my way through it. Um, and I just wanted to show you the mycelium that is like formed in the compost pile. Mycelium is a network made out of thousands of filaments of fungi. This is basically like a root system, but it works even better. Mycelium can harvest minerals and nutrients that plant roots can't hunt access on their own and when you dig and till the soil it damages the mycelium this is why we are using the no dig method where you layer up cardboard on the floor to smother out any grass or weeds and then pile your compost and organic matter on top you want to make sure you overlap the cardboard boxes and pile up the compost on top to at least six inches deep once you have your compost on top of the cardboard, it's time to use your string lines to mark out your vegetable beds. So we've marked out the beds with the string line and we are piling up the compost that we're bringing in from the truck in between the string line, breaking it out so it's a nice, like even level. And then we're going to bring this compost over here and top it up with the nice nutritious compost and mix that in after. The volunteers worked up an appetite. It's a good job I made some nice food for us to eat together. All of my beds on the farm are 75 centimetres wide and 25 metres long. Keeping your beds at uniform sizes means that row covers and insect netting can fit every bed. So now I'm adding the, the more nutritional compost on top of the green waste compost just to give it that extra boost and give the plants the nutrients that they need. Um, and then I'm going to use the iconclast to mix it all in and incorporate it all together so it's not like two separate layers. I've got the compost down on top of these beds. Um, I'm just going to add some kelp powder now and just add some extra nutrients. And um, once I actually get the truck on the road, I'll be going down to the seaside um, and harvesting any washed up seaweed um, and making my own liquid fertilizers. And I've seen people use actual seaweed as mulch as well. So I'll probably give that a go on one of the beds. This is the Iconoclast by Neversink Farm. This tool only agitates the top two inches of soil, which is perfect for mixing in amendments and preparing your beds for seeding. Preparing your beds by hand would take up to 20 minutes per bed. The Iconoclast does it in seconds. You can find a link to the Iconoclast in the description of this video. I cut a piece of plywood to 75 centimetres wide and I used this to compress the compost on the top of the beds. Then I gave each bed a watering and covered with this big tarp. The warmth from the tarp will germinate any weed seeds and then we will go back with the flame weeder and burn off any seedlings. 
This is called the stale seedbed technique. If you don't already, hit subscribe and go and follow my Instagram at What's Growing On UK. The links to all my social medias are in the description. Peace out.